yeah. Leaning over is so challenging. <laughs> My monthly favorites and we didn't do one last month so that means that this is a favorites that's chock full of favorites it's gonna be just highly condensed amazingness I have a huge pile of stuff over here I have things just I have a, like a list on my phone to make sure that I actually mention everything we've got skincare makeup body care clothes shoes things that I've absorbed with my eyeballs and there's a ton to cover so let's go ahead and jump in, shall we? Okay, welcome back guys. Hello, hi, welcome back me. I have been filming less often lately just because of the demands of my body, I feel like. I just sleep so much and I'm, if I'm not asleep, I'm still like in bed because reclined is the only position that's comfortable for me right now. But it makes me like more excited to film because it feels more special, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, consult my list here. Okay, the first thing I wanna cover is a couple of skincare items that I've been really, really liking. And if you watched my skincare haul recently, like a couple of weeks ago, then you will have already seen these, but I want you to know that they have risen to favorites status. And one of them is a recommendation from you guys. This is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Whipped Night Cream. It is a dupe for the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, and it's $20. It is $19.99, fam, and it works. In fact, my skin has been so, so dry. I know I say this all the time, but it's like, a, it keeps surprising me in its ability to be dry. I was doing yoga yesterday and I looked down at my arm and it's like crepey and peeling and not for lack of trying, not for lack of like applying four different moisturizers and oils and things when I get out of the shower and also like trying to exfoliate using things that are chemical exfoliate. I'm trying everything. The thing is, the baby is stealing all of my moisture. He's going to have very supple skin when he comes out. <laughs> That's a promise. But anyway, I love this so much. I wish they made one for my whole body because as I start like putting this on my face, it's so nourishing and it actually stays, the moisture stays, that when I'm like rubbing it down my neck and under my chest, I just want to be like, and just keep going. <laughs> you know? Put it on my legs, put it on my belly, put it on my arms, because this is like the most quenching, but also non-comedogenic moisturizer I think I've ever used. And did I mention it's $20? <laughs> like it's, it's an amazing value for 1.7 fluid ounces. And so I have you guys to thank for this because when I said I wanted to try a dupe for the Proteiny, this was the unanimous suggestion and it's incredible. I like it better than the Proteiny. So there you go. And the other one, this was kind of in the beginning of my second trimester. My skin was <laughs> super oily because life is full of surprises. <laughs> And I like, couldn't even use my face oils or anything like that. Everything was breaking me out. Then I found this. Actually, I found this back beginning of the year. But Glossier, for some reason, I don't know why, they had to push back the release date. And so this was supposed to come out, I want to say, in March. And it didn't come out until like late June. But we didn't do a favorites last month. So I'm finally getting a chance to mention this. This is my second bottle of this. <laughs> I, I bought this one. Uh, the first one was sent to me in PR. And I like it so much that I repurchased it and it is very, very different from the Acure. So I almost feel like I'm able to kind of cater to like two different skin types here from actual personal experience, being that this is incredibly nourishing for actually super, super dry skin. And then this is so lightweight and so beautiful. It's like this lovely kind of like gel weight texture that just totally disappears on the skin for people who don't want a whole lot of greasy moisture on their face. I tend to prefer greasy moisture. Give me all the grease, give me all the occlusion. This is much less occlusive. I mean, it's called the Priming Moisturizer Balance Oil Control Gel Cream. That says it all. This is the third variant of this. They have a regular one, original one. They have a high, rich moisture one. And then they have this one. And this is my favorite one that I've tried. So yeah, <laughs> I'm glad to have like visited the oily skin space long enough to appreciate this. And I still think that there's a place for this in my life, probably uh, post-pregnancy. <laughs> Speaking of moisture, one of the four things that I'm putting on my body right now, this is the most effective one. This is the OC 
anti-aging body balm and it's pretty much almost empty and I've had it for about five weeks. I will not say that that is a fault of this product. I just go through moisturizers so quickly. This is $48. Great company. Just puts out the most beautiful products. And this truly, truly <sighs> nourishes my skin in one step. But recently I have just felt like going into like overkill mode on it. I think honestly it's because my showers are hot and also my clothes and my sheets probably aren't like the perfect material, like they're not silk or satin, you know? And so they are kind of absorbing the moisture from my skin, which wouldn't be a bad thing usually, but right now it's a bad thing. But regardless, this forms the best moisture barrier on my body that I have found. It's really beautiful. It's like coconut oil and seaweed and a bunch of other I don't know what makes it anti-aging, but a bunch of other really, really good stuff. OC is like the spa skincare company that they use at my spa. And you can also get it on like Credo and everywhere. You know what I mean? They're just a really, really great company. I first fell in love with their red algae mask and I've just kind of followed the primrose path since then. But regardless, I really enjoyed this and I, it's like a mini empties. I'm gonna be repurchasing it. <laughs> Okay, so that's skincare body care stuff out of the way. Yeah, I'm going in order, isn't this crazy? We're gonna move into some makeup stuff now. And that is a really fun topic today because there's been so much stuff coming out lately that I haven't had, because I haven't been filming as many like get ready with me's and stuff like that lately. I feel like I haven't gotten to share some of this stuff with you guys as much as I wanted to. So Thrive came out with two primers. They have the Filtered Effects Blurring Primer and then they have the Brilliant Face Brightener illuminating primer. I'm gonna swatch both of these on my hand for you guys, but I do want to say they, while they both, stop, <laughs> extend the longevity of the makeup that you are wearing, like they actually do, they both are like gripping in some sense. The, the illuminating primer is like a gift. I don't know, I, I like a blurring primer. I'm not sure that like it's something that I necessarily have a huge use for in my life just because I do like being so dewy and I don't really feel like I have like pore or texture issues, but it is very, very pretty. It's just not something that I reach for as often because I don't really have a need for that. But mm, this illuminating primer, oh my gosh, it feels like a lightweight moisturizer. It is so like unexpectedly nourishing on the skin and it has the most beautiful, perfect amount of glow to it. I'm wearing it right now and I'm wearing it under this. I did not have the nerve to tell you guys that this was a favorite this month. I just can't do that to you. <laughs> Oh, if you guys haven't watched that video, it's a scream. It was one of my favorite videos to read the comments on was the Becca Zero review because everyone just got the giggles. It was just a hilarious video. It's an absurd video, but either way, I am wearing this right now and that probably means that you can like see the effects of this uh, illuminating primer better because it's clear, it's a clear foundation. So anyway, yes, I've been wearing, like I'm not much of a primer girl typically because I'm not even like a finishing spray girl anymore. I'm hardly a foundation girl, but I feel like the benefits of this primer are more than I expect typically from a primer. It has like a really nice glow to it. I think it's a more subtle and more believable glow than for example, like the super goop glow screen, which is kind of, you know what I mean? It gives you that like almost gold iridescent thing. It's much more wearable, I feel like, if it's the only thing on your face. And I could feel between that and the Becca, I could feel like the grip when I was putting the rest of my cream products on today. And I feel like, I mean, I know, I've, I've wear tested it for a video that I did for them, that it truly does actually extend the longevity of my makeup, so. As a primer, I don't really know what more you could ask for, but if you want my preference between the two, just because of my own personal needs, the illuminating one is just, it's gosh darn awesome. Hello? There it is. <laughs> it's hard to lose something this big. This is gonna seem like really khaki. That's just now becoming a favorite. I feel like we've already heard so much about this, but I didn't do a favorites last month for the third time. So I'm only just now getting to mention this as a favorite. Wow, I'm glad I bought this. This is the Danessa Myricks Luxe Cream Palette in the nudist colorway. I reach for this more often than any other blush in my collection. This is $44 and I don't know how, I mean, it's a, it's a 
crap ton of products, like 48 grams of product. So it's less than a dollar a gram. I am wearing this right now. I do wear this, so, I mean, I just wear it so often. It is the one that is just like the easiest because for somebody who doesn't really wanna decide what to do with their face, you know what I mean? Like you're putting on your blush and you're like, I don't wanna pull out five blushes. Instead, I'm gonna pull out 12 blushes and I'm just gonna kinda of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, until I like what I see. And there are other colorways in this that I'm honestly deeply considering just because I like this so much. This formula is so beautiful. It wears all day, doesn't lose any kind of pigment or anything, but it's not sticky at all. It's brilliant. It's genius. And I went to try to buy more stuff on her website and I was completely overwhelmed. <laughs> I was just like that and that and that and suddenly my cart was full and I was like, okay, this is not feasible. I need to make some decisions and I couldn't. And so that is where I'm at on Tanessa Myricks right now. It's not for lack of loving things. It's for lack of being able to make decisions. But this is such an exquisite purchase that I'm so glad that I made. I bought mine on Beautylish. That was the first place that I saw the actual nudist colorway in stock. Beautylish has become lately, man, between this and like the new Wayne Goss palette and everything. And they're like concierge service. <laughs> when I want to buy something ahead of time and they're just like, they text me and they're like, hey, do you want to buy the whole Wayne Goss collection? You know, priority and then they ship it overnight to me. Beautylish is the jam. I love them so much. But anyway, that's where I got this and I, I adore this. <laughs> I adore this so much. It is truly the blush that I reach for the most right now. Ew. Okay. So something else that's on my face. I went ahead and just put most of my favorites on my face today. Aether came out with a new highlighter. And is it my favorite highlighter to wear as a highlighter? No, because it is very much meant for deep skin tones. This is an absolutely gorgeous, super, super warm yellow diamond highlighter. And it compares very, very differently to the one that I prefer with that I also have on my eyes right now. And that is the Pure Diamond, which is like, it's like a beige. And I feel like it's very universal if you like a neutral color as a highlighter. Some people want a warm highlighter and there really aren't that many on the market. And so um, I'm really, really into this. But of course, you know, I was sent this in PR. It's not necessarily something that I would wear as a highlighter, but I was scrolling through my feed and I saw Katie Jane Hughes <laughs> wearing it on her eyes. And of course she has these like ice blue or ice green eyes that just like cup pop when you put something yellow like this on them because that's, you know, that's opposites. But I, I think I commented under the photo on Instagram. I was like, I'm doing this immediately. Like I wanted to put it on my eyes and I flipping love how it looks. I think it is so cool. You guys know I'm not very experimental with my eye makeup ever because I feel like a lot of times it just kind of like, I don't know, it looks costumey, but there's something about this that's just the right color that makes me feel editorial without feeling like I'm like wearing someone else's face. <laughs> like I'm trying too hard. And there are people who can pull anything off without looking like they're trying too hard. I just don't think I'm that person all the time. This is giving me those vibes. So yeah, I, um, I really, really like it. And it is, like I said, it's going to be more useful for deep skin tones as an actual proper highlighter, but I'm very much enjoying it as an eyeshadow. And I do want to say it doesn't quite have that scattered glitter thing that the other two do. The pink diamond and the pure diamond, they kind of give you that like wet look on your face, almost like the Fenty highlighter. Whereas this one, as you can see, it is more pigment and more like even dispersion of shimmer and less of just like a wet texture on the skin. So yeah, very, very cool. I am super into this. I think it's really pretty and thought it was worth mentioning. <laughs> Okie dokie, I'm uh, it's my mischief lap. So we've moved now through makeup. We're going to talk about attire. Now, I told my husband, go ahead and brace yourself because I've spent, it will be nine months, it's six and a half months at this point, living in a body that's very, very unfamiliar to me as far as dressing it is concerned. And I refuse at this point in my pregnancy to buy more maternity clothes. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to live with what I have, love what I have, appreciate it. But man, I'm counting down the days till I can start wearing some cute stuff again. Not that you can't be cute when you're pregnant. We talked about this in a different video, but I am very boyish and there's something distinctly female about being pregnant and I'm sick of, I'm just sick of wearing dresses. That's all. Ready to cinch that waist, ready to experiment again. And I have been doing some pre-fall shopping. If you've ever, if you've watched my channel for more than a year, you know that this is, this is 
not atypical for me. This is what I do. I get excited about fall and I just start buying clothes. So anyway, first things first, some shoes. The first pair of shoes that I bought, I actually bought from Pedivore. Pedivore is where I buy a lot of clean beauty because they're, well, they're, first of all, they're local. They're in Austin, which is awesome. So I get the stuff like the next day. It ships so fast. I broke my nail. But also they, they sell a whole bunch of other stuff besides beauty. And I always like wondered whether they were going to like condense their repertoire, but they haven't. They've stayed really robust in the sense of carrying a lot of clothing and shoe and accessory brands that are vegan was really really cool they were the ones that i partnered with to do the vegan purse company what is her name i will put the name of the brand on the screen i have a gorgeous purse from them but anyway i bought these these are vejas i've been wanting some vejas probably since i was in europe and saw everybody wearing them but i was kind of just waiting for like a colorway that made me go yes and you're probably like khaki oh that's beige <laughs> yeah Sometimes I want to be excruciatingly boring, you know? Not everything has to make a really loud statement, although I do appreciate a loud statement. I like to have loud and quiet things in my wardrobe, and I just thought that these were so stinking cute. There was some kind of site-wide sale going on, I'm not sure, uh, but, oh yeah, I got the OC oil with these. I paid full price for these. <laughs> Yes, I did. But uh, I haven't even gotten a chance to wear them yet because it's 9 million degrees outside and you're crazy if you wear clothes to a juice, to be honest. Like, it literally, it like actually makes a huge difference in your body temperature. But as soon as it gets below 80, these are gonna be on my feet all the time. They're gonna be so good to wear with jeans, with dresses if I ever re-embrace dresses, but also with like athleisure and stuff like that. So, yeah. That is, uh, that's the plan for these. I'm really excited about them. Next shoe purchase. <laughs> Yeah. Leaning over is so challenging. <laughs> Some people who might keep a close eye on my Instagram and or have followed me for a while now, Ludo. I want to say Ludo is going to be like, nah, <laughs> you know, two hands raised in praise emoji um, when I show these because this is something that I have been sitting on for a while as far as whether or not I was going to buy them. I have a problem and its name is Ugly Shoes, okay? And I have to hold myself back so often from buying really ugly shoes because a lot of times really ugly shoes are impractical. They're heavy, they have like dinosaur eggs. At the end of the day, I am not Emma Chamberlain and I'm not going to Coachella. But these were on sale. These are by United Nude and they were getting advertised to me left, right, and sideways for the longest time and they have a whole bunch of ugly shoes like it's kind of their thing and when i say ugly i mean that in a fond fond way like i said i love ugly shoes i like things that are a little bit out of the ordinary and they have these in some crazy colorways but i posted this on my instagram literally months ago and i was like why why am i so drawn to ugly shoes like why do i love these so much and a few people messaged me and they were like me too girl and those are so good <laughs> and so i got an ad that said that this particular colorway none of the other ones but this particular colorway which happened to be the one that i like because it's the most neutral it's kind of like i want to balance the quiet with the loud like it's a loud silhouette so i wanted like a quiet colorway and they were on sale. When I got them in the mail, I was still unsure. Honestly, when I ordered them, I was like, oh, I hope this works out. I hope they'll let me return them if I don't like them or something like that. And when I put them on, I was like, those aren't that ugly. Those aren't that weird, especially in this colorway. They're just not that weird. They're like a tan and gray and they're just a platform sandal. And yeah, they look like they have seat belts on the front of them. But I will tell you one thing, they are insanely comfortable. Oh my gosh, they're comfortable. I put them on and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> and we're talking about sore pregnant lady feet right now. Again, haven't got a chance to wear these yet because where am I going? But I am super, super pumped about them. They don't make me too much taller, you know, like an inch and a half or something like that. And I definitely am a believer in fall sandals in Austin, Texas. Fall sandals are a thing. Winter sandals might as well be a thing. And these are just giving me, they're just giving me life, you know? And I just love a good pair of ugly shoes. I do. And I think that these are something that, they, they were just part of my destiny, you know? And, and I'm so glad to be united with them. Okay, those were shoes. Let's talk about clothes. These are not all of the clothes that I have bought lately, but the main thing I wanna talk about right now is jumpsuits. <laughs> it's another thing that like, it's my brain's compromise for being like, you're gonna look pregnant for a while after you're pregnant. You probably aren't gonna be able to slide into your 24 jeans, 
but we do want to try and cinch that waist a little bit and so I bought two jumpsuits recently. The first one is by a designer called Alex Mill. I would model these for you but they don't fit me. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I ordered the right size because I have a gigantic belly and then nothing I you know if I try to put it on it just doesn't work and so I got I think a small yeah, I got a small, hopefully the small works out. I will put a picture of it on the screen for, for the assistance of understanding what it looks like. They have several jumpsuits. Alex Mill does tons of jumpsuits. They do tons of really like practical clothes, you know, just like really, really good utilitarian designs that I feel like have these really nice touches to them that make them either a little bit more masculine or a little bit more feminine or a little bit more flattering or whatever. And there was just something about that particular one that drew me to it. They have a bunch of really cool colors. They actually have like a couple of different ones in like a light pink that give me like the Glossier vibes. And I, I honestly, I think I heard about the company through the Bon Appetit channel because they all wear uh, aprons made by them. I think Claire Saffitz did a, uh, a collab with them and like designed an apron a while back. And then Molly Boz wears them all the time. And I was just like, if I'm gonna go for a jumpsuit, I'm going to go for the finest jumpsuit out there. And so, I did, and I'm really, really excited about it, and uh, I hope that it fits. <laughs> and then this one is from Everlane. I had some Everlane credit to spend, and this just kept popping up on my feed. It's a little bit more 1970s and a little bit more like, I feel like boiler suit y. And again, I'm stuck it on the screen because it doesn't fit me. <laughs> yeah, I really. I'm excited about like having some transitional stuff in my wardrobe that's gonna make me feel cute but also practical. And that also came in a white colorway, but I thought, baby, breastfeeding. <laughs> white's just not going to fly as much as it used to. <laughs> so I was excited to have something too that kind of like buttons down and is a little bit more like nursing friendly. So that was my thought process. Hope, hope it all works out, hope it all fits. The other clothing thing that I wanted to talk about, and it's just kind of a heads up. So when we talked about a couple months ago, probably more than a couple of months ago, the brand Italic. It is a company that uses all the same manufacturers as like the luxury designers. You know, they seek out the manufacturers that make all the luxury stuff like Celine or like even Aloe Yoga, but they contract them to make their clothes in a brandless way. And it was always a lot less expensive for that reason, even for like a cashmere sweater or just something that's obviously very high quality regardless of brand. They have recently, beginning of this month, switched over to a membership only model and they, made me one of their like reps or whatever. And so I have a, like a code that I've been putting down below my videos. And I also put it on Instagram talking about it because uh, this is like a really long line, but you can skip the line with my code basically to like sign up for their membership program. And with their membership program, you can get everything at cost. And so, and I mean like at, at cost girl. So like the workout set that I already had, the blue one that I bought in like pregnancy sizing, I bought it again in all black and it was, it was $30 for the leggings and it was $22 for the sports bra. And I was like, girl, that's like old Navy prices, you know? I was like, okay. And then I also got a puffer jacket that I had had my eye on since they reached out to me the very first time it was already warm here in Austin. And I was like, I told my contact there, I was like, I really like that puffer jacket, but like there's no way I can wear that anytime soon. And she's like, all right, well, you know, let's like circle back when it gets cold outside, whatever. I couldn't wait that long. And so I spent my coin on it. Uh, and I got that thing for $120. And it is like the, you know what I mean? It's like that black puffer jacket that looks like every blogger has, you know, you're on Pinterest and stuff, except it was $120, not like, you know, seven or $800, like a lot of the ones that you see on those bloggers. And I just think that it is at leisure fabulousness. And yet again, it's making me really excited to wear clothes again. I'm like having all this really nice optimism in my brain. I have 12 weeks left of pregnancy and then I get to start really like thinking again about dressing my body in a different way. And I just find all of that really, really exciting. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on the membership thing and the skip the line code and everything in case you've been seeing it around and you've been frustrated by the fact that there's a wait list you can skip the wait list with my code. Okay, one more thing that's like slightly attire based and I will also use this as an opportunity to shove my message on you. 
And that is, I bought the cutest masks. <laughs> I have been wearing the crap out of these, which you can tell because one of them has makeup all over the back of it. But these are masks by the designer Lily Sadugi. She's the designer that you see those knotted headbands from all the time, like the luxury headbands with like, you know, like silk with like a knot on the top of them. And I have the leopard print one and I really like it. I think it's really cute. And it's just a nice little addition to an outfit, but man, I was cruising through Nordstrom back before lockdown. <laughs> And I happened to cross a pair of sunglasses that I also have featured in a favorites video that also happened to be Lily Sadugi. And her stuff is like, it's luxury price, but it's like, you know, it's it's pretty much like middle of the road Nordstrom luxury price. You know, it's the sunglasses that were like $165, not $300 kind of thing. I talked earlier in this video about balancing the quiet with the loud in my wardrobe. And I love her maximal design style for selectively loud things in my wardrobe. And these masks have been selectively loud. There is a third one as well. She put out a whole bunch of them. I pre-ordered the only pack that she had at the time. And it is this little pink one. It's like a pink, like, you know, kind of faux seersucker. And then it has these little appliques on here. They're almost like little metal metallic hearts. So cute. This one is fully embroidered with little yellow flowers on it, you know, and they're all just different enough that I think I can, you know, match any of them with like, an I can find one that matches an outfit, you know? And then the other one is like a purple colorway. I will stick them on the screen because I think it's in my car. I couldn't find it. It's around, I know it's around. But yeah, I just love having these kind of like stuffed everywhere so that I can always reach for them and not always be wearing like a medical mask. But yeah. Wearing is caring, guys. If you have to find a mask that just makes you happy and it's like part of your look, there's tons of different ones out there right now and I was just super pleased to find these. So I encourage you guys, if you are having trouble with the mask mandates, still wearing is caring, care about the people around you, just find you some cute ones. I'm gonna put cow in my teeth. No, no, nope. That is almond. Also, one more little code that I need to mention for those of you who are still eyeing the Salt New York palette, which is again, it's the other cream thing that I'm wearing on my face right now. It's like my uh, my contour and my bronzer are, uh, are Salt New York. And if you have been eyeing these and have not pulled the trigger on them during the pre-sale or anything like that, where she was running discounts, I don't think there are any like site-wide discounts right now, but she texted me the other day and she was like, hey, guess what? And I was like, what? She goes, I'm giving you a code. And I was like, no way. So um, yeah, you can get 30% off bundles with Khaki 30 on Salt New York. Wow. So yeah. If you've been looking at these, it's I think she's kind of moving into like her long-term phase, you know? It was like she was doing kind of like a pre-sale manufacturing situation, but everything's kind of caught its stride and finally caught up from all the lag time of manufacturing and everything through the crisis and whatnot. Now we are able to simply offer a 30% off coupon for your bundles. For your bundles, so get your bundles with Khaki 30, you get 30% off. Okay, last two things here. First of all, you guys know I love wearing the, like, these are my like older Ana Luisa jewelry pieces, but this guy just came in my rocks box. And we haven't talked about rocks box on my channel in a while, mainly because I, I don't know, I just kind of integrate their pieces into my wardrobe really easily, but they're not always worth mentioning. They're usually just like really simple. You know, if you see me wearing like this hammered gold hoops or just like this ring or things like that, I love them, but they're not necessarily worth mentioning. This thing blew my mind. <laughs> it came in my rocks box and I was like, sold. So the way that I do rocks box is I don't, and you can do this too. I don't make money off of rocks box when I refer people. They actually gave me a referral code to do that. And then I was like, I like getting site credit instead. <laughs> I like getting my jewelry for free. And so every time I refer somebody, I get a credit towards buying more jewelry. And I like that way better. And so that's what my sign up link does down below. It's the same sign up link that you get when you just are a normal customer. And I highly recommend just like referring your friends and stuff because you get 25 
dollars of credit every time you refer somebody. And I mean, it's, you still have to pay your membership fee. You still pay $21 a month, but you get $25 to spend on makeup every time you are makeup jewelry every time you refer somebody and yeah I have uh I, I get like all my jewelry for free it's freaking awesome <laughs> so yeah not only is this like so stinking cute and I freaking love rocks box and like most of the time when people ask me where I got my jewelry from unless it's like my wedding ring or my like two Ana Luisa pieces it's almost entirely rocks box so yeah, if you're unfamiliar with them, it's a subscription service where you don't have to keep everything. You can wear it and send it back. You could buy it or you could send it all back, basically, kind of thing. So anyway, it's just worth mentioning mainly because, you know, I'm just, I'm really, like I'm obsessed with this particular style that I've seen on a lot of necklaces, but I haven't ever seen it in this like enlarged pattern. And it's, it's really just giving me life. Anything from the neck up right now that I can enjoy is really, it's really, really welcome in my life. Okay, and finally, one thing that I have been absorbing with my face, it's not the only thing I've been absorbing with my face, my eyeballs meaning, like media. Because I've been doing a lot of binge watching lately because again, I'm in like bed recline at all times, like even when I'm working, unless I'm sitting in front of this camera or eating, I am pretty much reclined in bed for the sake of comfort. The main thing worth mentioning that we have watched all the way through in the last like month and a half is this series on Netflix called Dark. <laughs> and if you've actually finished all three seasons, you know why I'm laughing because it is just, it's absurd. It is a crazy show. It's about time travel. It's like Lost meets Donnie Darko in German. <laughs> so it's a very intense experience as a nun native German speaker. It's, it's, I only speak English. I'm not sure if non-native German speaker, that makes it sound like I speak German. I don't speak German. I'm a non-German speaker. And uh, so I have to read all the subtitles and it just really increases the intensity with which you watch something. It makes it a completely immersive experience because you literally can't like look down at your phone or anything. And Mike had already watched the first two seasons when the third season came out and he was like, you should watch this. And I was like, I don't like really depressing, freaky, weird stuff. And he's like, no, 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 you're gonna really like this. Like, it's a mood, it's a vibe. And I was like, okay. And so he volunteered to rewatch the entire first two seasons with me, mainly to catch himself up on everything that's going on because <sighs> it's Game of Thrones level characters. Like there's so, and it's not that, <laughs> I don't even think I'm ruining anything. It's not that there's a ton of characters, it's that there's a lot of different um, times. And so you have to like learn who people are throughout their lives and the people who play them throughout their lives kind of thing. And so it's an absolutely cool show. It is so, so cool. I will say <laughs> in the same breath, I'm glad that it's over. It was occupying so much room in my brain. And even now I can like go onto the forums online and just dig. You know what I mean? Just like fall down a rabbit hole of like, oh wow, I didn't even think about that. It's one of those shows that even if you get done with it and you're exhausted, you have to admit it's kind of a masterpiece. And it's just done so, so beautifully and it's so clever. And while it feels like it kind of harkens to other things, like I said, it's like, I don't want to be a big fan of Lost. I, Lost it did not grip me. Um, my husband was super, super into it, but uh, it's like lost <laughs> with a Donnie Darko like mood. And Donnie Darko is like one of my favorite movies of all time. But <laughs> unlike Lost, hate to spoil it for you, they thought of the ending before they started. <laughs> and so like they already knew what was going to happen and it's an actual encapsulated storyline that doesn't feel like artificially cut short or like they just kind of went at the end, you know, like it, it, it comes together and you're like, oh, okay, okay. And it is actually a really satisfying ending. So yeah, finally finished watching Dark. Oh my gosh. Needless to say, I have gone back to binge watching RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> just to like empty my brain back out because I'm just like, I can't, I can't start anything like that again soon. You know, it was just, it was just a lot. But if you're one of those people who really enjoys things that are a lot and has a lot of respect for like a cinematic TV show that has, it's like super high concept, you might really, really like Dark. So yeah, that 
is the culmination of my favorites from the last couple of months. I have been so excited to share these things with you guys. Like literally like the list has been running on my phone for so long. And for whatever reason, they're just, I wasn't sure enough about things at the end of last month. And I felt like I already had enough kind of videos going on. I was like, ah, I just, I'll just save this. And man, by the time I got to the end of July, I was like, I am bursting with the need to like talk about all of these things. So if you guys did enjoy this, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. You can check out links to everything that I mentioned down below as long as I can hunt them down. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.